Hello and welcome into my video covering up the new features in version 1.5 of my flight planner. Uh, in this video I will be covering, covering sorry, um, only the new features regarding SIM, con uh, SIM connection. Uh, so starting up uh, the whole mechanism has been recoded by me so it's now it's uh, much more optimized and you can run it even on older hardware older laptops with uh, with uh, with nice performance mm, starting with the features in settings dialog if you are familiar with uh, with version 1.4, uh, you can see that there is new tab engine failures, and these are the old features from the 1.4 that were excluded from the SIM Connect tab, and now there are some new features over here. The first one is uh, checkbox Safe Plane Track. So what it does. Uh, it stores your mm, position and some of additional data uh, in your time and you can set the uh, interval of gathering uh, this data in version 1.4 this was fixed on uh, one second now you can change it from as fast as possible um, until a uh, maximum of uh, five seconds last feature is to uh, increase uh, frequency five times while below 500 feet above ground level uh, so when it's useful uh, so for example you want to do a longer flight uh, but you want to focus uh, more on your performance during during uh, landings or takeoffs so you can set uh, your data gathering interval for one and a half second and if you press that while you are below 500 feet uh, the interval would uh, would be five uh, times less so it's going to be 300 milliseconds so you will have much more samples to investigate later um, okay so I have uh, I have the flight scene in the background so now I will unpause it and press sim connect and now you can see that the track is uh, is shown your history of your track uh, in the map you can change it se the selecting this layer here uh, anyway um just uh, going going through next features if you right click uh, you can see that there are a few over here the first new one is to update wind information from sim so as you can see uh, this is updated in real time from from your sim values and if you uh, if you open up the wind panel you can see that this is also updated over here uh, the additional feature here is that when you press calculate mm, magnetic variation uh, this data here this value comes directly from your sim so it's always synchronized with your sim uh, okay uh, moving on uh, you have new features to set your to change your altitude for example for 7000 feet above ground level so now the sim will reload uh, with your new altitude and you can also move plane here so it's the position when you right clicked I think it's very useful uh, because changing uh, this position or altitude from the flight sim could be frustrating because it's time consuming when you are waiting for all those uh, dialogues to load up uh, it can take quite 
some time so you can see now we have 7000 feet uh, above sea level above mean sea level sorry okay but the last feature and the most significant one is the user track analyzer dialog uh, okay so I will now pause the sim and disconnect um, when you right click on this you have now options to export this to Google Earth so you can review review it in uh, three dimensions or you can export all the data into CSV file or you can open up the analyze track uh, dialog uh, but I will remove this track and I will show you uh, show you the this new analyze track dialog on some other data which are more interesting uh, to explain all the features okay so as you can see this dialog is quite similar to the one that you already have in the sim but it's uh, enriched with bunch new features you can zoom in when your mouse wheel you can mm, you can mm, change the the time mm, with this slider or you can re replay whole your track uh, or your flight if you press show uh, position on the map you can see this also in this um, in 2d 2d from the up uh, on the map um, okay um, just uh, d uh, describing the mm, the panels over here in the right you can see here your um, input controls so this is my yoke inputs this is your rudder pedals inputs this is your flap indicator your bank angle with the value here is your true heading with the wind heading this is your wind uh, direction and wind speed and these are uh, additional uh, data that you can watch okay so mm, now uh, w we can watch the uh, final uh, approach and as you can see this now my flare and I will come down my, my main motivation uh, for cre creating this uh, was to uh, investigate my uh, performance during landings and takeoffs because I was never sure if I was too high or too low during flare and now I can measure measure it uh, if I go back you can see that during this uh, this uh, period of time my uh, my LDD top of ground level was 15 feet so it was much much higher than you would expect to flare but it's very hard to um, to have uh, have sense of uh, altitude in your sim uh, okay you can also measure uh, the distance of your uh, landing if you just mouse drag uh, selection so here you can see that it was 230 meters or check your uh, check your uh, flare distance or you can export only this selected part to Google Earth or CSV file okay so thanks for watching I think I covered most of the new features uh, in the upcoming 1.5 version and stay tuned uh, for the release date thanks again